We all have it. We have those weekends where we just overindulge in fatty, high carb, high calorie foods. And so in today's video, what I wanna do is give you how to rebound from a cheat weekend. Now, before I go on, guys, give the video a like, and please share this on Facebook for your friends that may have had a bad cheat weekend. Show me some love. I'm making these videos for you. And so let's kind of spread the word because I wanna get on YouTube and I wanna be able to grow this platform as much as possible. So number one is that you need to drink water to flush out the toxins and the carbohydrates that you consumed. You gotta remember from my past videos that carbohydrates require four grams of water for every gram of carbohydrates and as such, your two to three liters won't cut it after a big cheat weekend. You need to really up that amount of water double the amount of water that you normally consume. This way we're taking those carbs and the toxins and we're flushing them out of the body. Number two is that you need to move more. And I'm not talking about doing another workout, which I will get to that, but what I'm talking about is you need to move more. Now, we might be hitting our 10,000 steps a day, which is great, and that's the bare minimum. But what I want you to do is focus on moving more, even if it's just for one or two days after that cheat weekend, and I want you to focus on adding 25% more steps per day. Now that might take up more time of your day, but you just gotta be a better planner. And I know you can do it. Add that 25% more steps on just those one to two days after that big cheat weekend. Number three is yes, workout. Either do another workout, so you can do like a early morning workout, you can do a virtual, or you can do an early morning workout and an evening workout. But either way, let's try to find a way to take those calories that you've eaten and utilize them as energy right away. Maybe you need to lift a little bit heavier or maybe you need to move a little bit faster. Maybe that Monday workout after that cheat weekend is the toughest workout that you've done in months. But either way, you gotta work your ass off for this one. The fourth thing is that I want you to eat smaller, more frequent, high protein meals. You gotta think about what you had. You had high carbs and you had high fats, but you probably didn't have a lot of high protein. It's hard to find a nice, yummy, tasty, high protein meal because usually when the high protein meal, it's covered in some type of breading or you're gonna have it with some type of pasta or carb and then usually it's cooked in some delicious fats. And so what you need to do is restabilize your blood sugars, have high protein snacks and keep it plain, right? You just had a big ass cheat weekend. Why do you need your food to be so damn tasty? Today, what I want you to do, so if it's Monday, Today, what I want you to do is just have protein and have it frequently because we wanna restabilize those blood sugars and we wanna balance out the fat and carbs that you've eaten. And then last but not least is that you need to start eating bulky foods because your blood sugars are gonna be all out of whack and you just had a ton of calories, so your stomach could be expanded. So what we need to do is fill the gaps. So you need to start eating more bulky foods. What does that mean? You need more greens, you need more spinach, you need more kale salad, you need more vegetables in your life because vegetables take up a lot of water as well with the fiber, they expand and they fill in a lot of gaps that don't provide a lot of calories. So there we have it, your five steps to recovering from a cheat weekend, drink lots of water, move more, work out harder, eat smaller, more frequent high protein meals and eat more bulky foods. Now, if you found this video helpful and you're gonna use this tactic, Give the video a like. Say hello, Coach RJ, in the comments section. This way I know that you're paying attention and that my audience is growing. And of course, hit the subscribe button.